hello everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to code Spring Boot on NetBeans if you are a developer who has been using NetBeans for long and you are so versed with NetBeans and you are actually getting into Spring Boot and you don't want to switch IDs you want to continue with, with NetBeans you are the right place because I'm going to be showing you how to add Spring Boot plugin to NetBeans and begin to code Spring Boot on NetBeans if you are also a developer who does not have a preferred ID or does not know which ID to use, I recommend you NetBeans because NetBeans is a very good ID, it's free and uh, it's very robust and it accepts many languages. So we get started. So here if you are a NetBeans lover, then I assume you know this interface and you even have NetBeans on your machine. If you don't, that's I assume you're new, it's not a problem, you can easily download NetBeans from Google. We are going to do a very generic search here, not going directly to the uh, domain uh, NetBeans website. You just type NetBeans download and you see here you can just click and you go i have uh, i have installed netbeans 8.2 i'll maybe recommend you to do same but you must not so you come to the page netbeans page where you're going to download netbeans you see here this is all has all the components so you download here you click here download and you wait until it downloads i won't because i already have netbeans installed so uh, i come back on my netbeans once you have you install netbeans uh, on your machine i think that will not really be much of a problem but if you do encounter any problem write it down in the comments below and I'll answer you and and then we continue so once you have NetBeans installed notice notice here you see look at this icon th this bar up here you there is apart from after this there's nothing and then if you want to create a new project let's try I'm going to I'm showing you this because uh, there's there will be a difference later when we add the plugin you see here we come on Maven project because actually Spring Boot is much of Maven projects you see notice here nothing related to Spring Boot okay that's good so we cancel because we're not going to create any project and now we go now to download Spring Boot plugin which we are going to add on our NetBeans in order to uh, have our Spring Boot working on NetBeans so we go to Google again another generic search generic search sheets are good because uh, you don't need to remember so many things so here we're going to type uh, Spring Boot plugin for NetBeans you see here it's really there NetBeans for NetBeans so you click the first link and we go again on NetBeans website where we're going to download the plugin so um, we're going to look for NetBeans 8.2 but any, I think anyone will go but it's preferable we look for this uh, download size uh, NetBeans version well I don't I don't think it's really much of an issue to really select uh, well, well let's just take anyone let's take the first okay let's take this uh, 7.6 megabytes not really that much you download I you, so you see here you download but I won't because I had downloaded it already I have it but you download just see the name and then I will, I will cancel so once you download this the file will probably be in your downloads file except you change your default download directory but it should normally be in your downloads file so once you install that once you download that you go we go now go to our NetBeans and we go to tools tools plugins yeah we go to download it you see here yeah, download it it it, <laughs> it 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 kind of sees it for us but if you don't have this as I do here you will come here and click on add plugins and then you go to the folder where you downloaded the, spl the, the spring boot plugin so here you see here this is the spring boot plugin you choose this and open so it tells me that I already have it that's why we saw it here but yours will just load so okay so now I'll just click and install you will install the plugin next I accept and install okay continue okay now it has installed you need to restart the IDE now or later in fact so that it actually takes effect so I'll restart now so We just wait for NetBeans to restart back.
Okay, now we are back on our NetBeans. Notice here, as I showed you in the beginning, you see now here we have Spring Boot, a small sign here that represents that shows that Spring Boot is actually installed on this NetBeans. Okay, and then when you want, we are going to create a NetBeans, a Spring Boot project. So now we go create a project, we go Maven, and now you notice these two, they were not present in the beginning actually showing us that we have successfully added spring boot plugin on netbeans so we're going to create a project so spring boot initialize next initializer next okay we are going to create our project spring boot initializer project next okay fine here we give any name we are going to give here tutorial tutorial uh, demo maybe we'll just call it uh, maybe demo 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 maybe demo 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 two I don't know here this is the packaging whether you want a jar or a war that will be explained later in for in other videos so next here we choose spring spring web I think this one will be uh, for a basic project I think this one will be okay and so we click next <coughs> because uh, we are not going to be doing a, a database related application so we don't need uh, SQL or any other uh, here we are going to change the name because it's a project that already has that name so we are going to call this one uh, how did we call it tutorial we are going to call it tutorial and finished so it down it will download the project now for us from Spring Boot's website. So you see here the pom.xml file is opened and you see here our demo two. Demo one here is the previous project I downloaded. Uh, you see here demo two and uh, you can begin to unroll. So you see this our these are our files. You see here downloading some dependencies from the central repository. So uh, from here, I think you can take on. But uh, if you are really a beginner in Spring Boot, uh, my next video will be showing how to uh, how to start a fresh project. That's from now from here, how to get along with uh, Spring Boot, creating a basic uh, CRUD application. So stick around, subscribe if you want to get not and click the notification bell if you want to get notified when I publish that next video, which is going to take you like from. Uh, zero to at least one or two in Spring Boot, and I'll be progressing uh, as time goes by. So, if you want to be with me and progress with me, you can just stick around for the moment. This one is over. I hope um, it, it was explicit and uh, I did it well. If uh, for any complaints or any uh, for any appreciations uh, in the comments below, just write in the comments below. I thank you very much for your time. See you next.